Hey, Lumberjacks and Janes, it is Rick with Stumped, and I'm here today playing more Civilization V. Picking up with my Enrico Dandolo campaign. Last episode was pretty good. We got a Merchant of Venice. It's stationed over here in Cahokia. I don't know what to do with him yet. I'm waiting to see what my options are. I don't want to use him just yet, so he's just waiting. He's biding his time. Venice is growing pretty well. We have the highest population of any capital so far that we know of, so we're growing at a pretty steady rate. We're trying to build the Globe Theater to try to get some extra culture up in here, and let's see. We get to adopt a policy as well, so what are we going to adopt? Something in the patronage tree, and the resting point for all influence with all city-states is increased by 20. I like that idea. There we go. We're going to take that policy and we're gonna choose our research. So last episode, I got a free tech, which I chose printing press with, which is why we've already got one tech researched in the Renaissance era. This episode though, we are gonna get through the Renaissance era and I'm gonna go ahead and research astronomy, which is gonna allow us to build caravels, which is going to allow us to explore the ocean. Speaking of exploring, we just found Casimir of the great empire of Poland. So, uh, what brings you to my glorious kingdom? Well, what brings you to mine, I should ask. I didn't come looking for you. How did you find us, anyway? Ah, I see. A Polish trireme. Wait, if there's a Polish trireme there, how'd that trireme get there? He has to take shallow water. Oh, there's a way down here that I didn't even notice this entire time. Wouldn't you know? Okay, I gotta pay more attention, guys. Except Embassy, where are you at? Ah, oh, you're just south of us. Warsaw, right there. So Warsaw's only got a population of 13, which is probably the smallest capital I've seen so far. Now we've researched astronomy so we can build some caravels and do a little bit more exploring. Okay, worker, you're just gonna have to stay put there. And let's choose a new tech. What is the next tech gonna be? We're looking for culture here, right? Culture is the one thing that we really want in this game, so I wanna find the next tech that's going to give us the most culture bang for our buck, which is probably going to be acoustics, because it'll allow for the building of the Opera House, the Sistine Chapel, that's been built, so that's kind of cross off the list at this point, but Musicians Guilds as well, which is going to give us uh, places for musicians, and it'll help us create musicians. Acoustics yeah, is what we're going to research. Offerta. No, you can't have open borders. Go away, Casimir. Interesting. I should have been exploring down here way earlier on, but I thought that I was separated by an ocean. Turns out I was wrong. And we've got a cargo ship that's ready to trade. Let's trade with Kabul. And we can actually build some more cargo ships, it looks like, because we can trade with Constantinople, Paris, and Sessizen. I can't pronounce that. There are not enough vowels in that word. Okay, where are we going to trade here? We were trading with Cahokia last time. And I'm going to go ahead and start trading with Constantinople, Paris, or that Polish city. So I'm going to trade with Constantinople. Looks like we're going to get the most benefit out of that trade route. So this is the Polish Empire, eh? Ah, uh, you want some more crab? You got it. Let's renew that deal. Oh, and there's a city-state down here. Which city-state is this? I wonder. It's... Yerevan. Hello, Yerevan. I wonder how Yerevan's looking. Maybe we should take that as our next city. Being on such good terms, I couldn't help but notice that you'd become friends with Carthage. I have done the same. Perhaps this makeshift alliance will lead to great things in the future. Wow, Poland's friendly too. So many friendly civs, but it's still early on in this game. I'm sure there's going to be plenty of backstabbing to come. These alliances don't tend to last very long. All right, new research time. What's it gonna be? Are we gonna do architecture, navigation? Hmm, navigation's pretty good. I mean, we are a seafaring sieve and all, but banking is also good because that's gonna give us money. Research agreement, let's do it, girl. All right, we've got quite a few research agreements now and we've got some good trade deals going on. So we're creating gold at a pretty good pace. Hanoi looks elsewhere. Hanoi and Carthage are now allies. Really? I don't like the idea of that. I want Hanoi to be my ally. I'm going to need another uh, spy to stick in there. Ah, oh, we did get the Globe Theater. Lucky us. That's going to be a boon to our culture indeed. And we've got a free great writer who I'm going to use 
to make a great work. What's he gonna make? What'd you write? The cunning waste their pain. You wrote Hong Lao Meng, Dream brain. of the Red Chamber. The who seeks no beautiful. Beautiful. And time to choose some new production. What's it gonna be this time? Uh, we can try to get the Leaning Tower of Pisa, too. Now, we're gonna get really lucky if we get that. And I do believe that Ant wanted us to, uh, to build the Leaning Tower. So if we do that... Oh, look at this. We've met the Inca. We've met uh, Assyria. Ah, the World Congress has been founded already. And somebody stole steel from us. What? Wow. I'm not even, like, the most technologically advanced. I'm surprised that somebody would go through the trouble of trying to steal from us. That's just rude. Okay. We've got embassies. We've got new embassies, so we can see where these guys are at. They're right in the middle. We've researched banking. Hold on. I want to look at these sieves. So, Asur has 15 population, and Cusco has 23. Wow, Cusco is growing pretty quick. I've only got 22, so Cusco is actually a bigger capital than us. Congratulations, I suppose. Ah, uh, my city's finally become religious. Which city? It must have been Cahokia, because Venice ain't religious. Let's go see. Cahokia has gotten, ah, uh, orthodoxy, okay. And who needs orders? My trireme needs orders. There you go, trireme. So I wonder when Cahokia, or rather Venice, is going to get religion. Ah, uh, Napoleon completed uh, Ufizi, and that's fine. Pachacuti has the most well-fed population, but I'm number two, and just like I expected. He's got the largest capital, but I'm close in second place. So if I keep up my population, that should give us a good chance of taking the lead in this thing. Now, of course, I'm never going to be the biggest empire. I'm never going to be able, able to expand as large as some of these other civs. But I can do other things well. Culturally, tourism, I can do well. Being on such good terms, I couldn't help but notice, yes, 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 we're all friends. Yes, yes, yes. We talk about it all the time, how good friends we are. Everybody loves each other. It's just a big old loving over here. Yervan has a new ally. Ah, and Pachacuti created the friggin' Leaning Tower of Pisa. I wanted that. I wanted the Leaning Tower of Pisa. I wanted to be the guy. Damn it. All right, let's choose production. We're gonna go Opera House so we can get some culture up in here. No. No open borders. Okay, ep economics has been researched, and we got a great scientist in Venice. Great scientist is great. So where are we going to use him? I'm going to need a place for him. I'm going to go put him right over here. We're going to build an academy. And I need to research something else. So we've got one, two, three, four, five more techs in the Renaissance era. And this time, I'm going to... I'm going to go with navigation. Uh, okay, here we go. Here come some uh, Byzantine missionaries to spread some love to Venice. A little religious love. There we go. Now we've got religion up here in Venice. Everybody just wants to tell me that we're all good friends. I know. I know. You don't need to keep reminding me that we're all great friends. I get it. <laughs> I know all about it. I was there when you asked me to be a friend. Hey, and we've got a gift from Hanoi. Oh, great. This is going to be another one of those games where I just keep getting gifted units over and over and over again until my military just becomes so large that I can't control it anymore. Whoa, there's a religious struggle going on here between the French and uh, the, the, the Byzantine Empire here. France is trying to give me some uh, religion. Byzantium is trying to give me some religion. It's a struggle. It is a struggle. The struggle is real. Okay, what are we going to build next? I'm going to build uh, the ironworks, actually. That's what I'm going to build next. The winds and, the and a research agreement has been completed with Napoleon. Gave us a little boost to our science. So we get to choose another tech. And the next tech that we're going to choose is going to be architecture. We're just going to get all of those top techs out of the way. And this trireme needs to get back home. Or to explore someplace new. Cargo ship gonna trade. Gonna trade with 
Ant again. I need to build more cargo ships. I have so many unused cargo ships, we need to start taking advantage of that. Next term, I'm just going to go on a building screed. I'm just going to start building trading ships like, like nobody's business. Oh, and see, I just discovered Bucharest. Lucky me. I'm actually just going to set my trireme to go explore all on its lonesome. And now that the ironworks is finished, let's go ahead and start building some cargo ships. Cargo ships, it is. Theodora is a threat to the stability of this world. Whoa. No, I'm sorry. I can't do that. See what I said? I said that this would turn eventually. Everybody was so friendly. But now all of a sudden, France wants to go to war Architecture with Theodora. Begins, right? I can't be choosing sides, you guys. But eventually I'm going to have to. They're going to force me to. All right. I really don't care what we research next. It's all inconsequential to me. It's all going to be about military units, and I don't really care about those at the moment. Okay, cargo ship has been built, and now we're going to trade with Yerevan, and we're going to build another cargo ship, and we're going to choose another policy. We're going to choose philanthropy, which is going to give more power to our gifts of gold to city-states. Which, hopefully, I won't have to use too many gifts of gold, but if I do, they'll be more powerful than anybody else's gifts. Research agreement, you got it, man. Pretty much all I've been spending my gold on at this point is research agreements, and that is a worthy uh, cause. It's a good use of our money. All right, next trade route is going to be with Paris. So we can get 19 gold. And I'm going to do another cargo ship. We can build four more cargo ships. It's just a matter of finding places to actually use them at this point. Now gunpowder has been researched, and the First World Congress has assembled time to start looking into who's going to be the host. And currently, Pachacuti has five delegates, as does Theodora. We three, Napoleon, Dido, and myself. Oh, and actually, uh, Ashurbanipal all have four, and Nebuchadnezzar and Casimir only have three. So I don't have enough to become the leader this time. It's probably going to be Pachacuti or Theodora, but we'll see how that shakes out. And it looks like the other things that are up for vote are cultural heritage sites and the World's Fair. Both of those things I'm fine with. Pachacuti is a very happy population. Uh, we have 27. Dido, not very happy. Only three happiness. Not too good. And what happened over here? Uh, the special session of the first Paris conference has chosen Byzantium to be the next host. Oh, what's interesting is that it was a tie between the Inca and a tie between Byzantium. I wonder how they decided the tie on that one. Okay, enough worrying about that. Let's build another cargo ship, and let's use the one that we just built to go trade with Krakow. And we're going to move on to our next turn. Yeah, we'll renew that deal. It was working out for us. And no, we will not give you open borders. Go away. All right, we've rigged the election in Ant up here. So now we are allied with them. That's fantastic. Bucharest wants faith. Well, we're not going to be able to help them out too much there. We do have 371 faith, though, which is surprising. Uh, faith that we are doing nothing with at the moment, actually. Okay, Kabul is going to be the trade route that we're going to do there. And then the new trade route is going to be... Ooh, what's it going to be with? Is it going to be with... uh going to be with Poland, because we're going to get some science out of that deal as well. And let's see. What are we going to build? Ah, the Hermitage, which is going to give us a plus 50% culture in this city. That is awesome. That's what we're going to build. Faux show. That should really pump up our culture. Our spies have uncovered that Casimir is plotting against you. We hope that you will share any intrigue your agents discover with us. Wow. Thanks for the heads up, dude. And that's fine. If he wants to try to come in front to us, that's fine. Because I don't think he's going to be able to do anything to us. Now, there's one thing that the AI in this game are not good at. And that is fighting naval battles. So I'm not too concerned that they're going to try and go to war with me. Okay, we can go ahead and do the World's Fair and see if we can... I, I doubt we'll be able to come in first in the World's Fair because we only... What? Are you kidding me? Oh, wow. So if what Francis said is true and that Casimir is planning on going to war with me, he just offered me a declaration of friendship. Wow. Okay. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do it only because if he negs on the declaration of friendship it's only going to bode poorly for him and hopefully other civs will denounce him i know i will for sure he better not go to war with me wherever we look 
chemistry has been researched and I believe that only leaves us yet with metallurgy to research. This is going to be the last tech of the Renaissance and the last tech of this episode. So the World's Fair was passed. And a unit needs orders. You just need to fortify. I've noticed that you've become friends with Poland. Oh, apparently Theodora is friends with that backstabbing, conniving jerk over there in Poland. And you want crabs, do you? You want to give me iron in return? Fine. Fine. Now, if you go to war with me, you don't get no crabs, man. So keep that in mind. All right? Thanks to the help of your delegates, our recent proposal to the World Congress was successful. Oh, that was your proposal. Good proposal, man. So after the Hermitage is built, right there, we're going to go ahead and start putting all of our production into the World's Fair. And we're going to do that for a while. I'm going to go ahead. We're producing 46.2 production per turn. And I'm going to go ahead and produce the World's Fair. So we need to produce at least 234.5 production in order to get the second place. And we need to produce the most in order, in order to get the first place, which is a cultural boost of 100% for 20 turns. I think it's going to be unlikely that we can do that, but unlikely that we can come in first, that is. But we'll see. We'll see how this shakes out. No. No open borders for you. I'll give you a research agreement, though, all right? But you don't get open borders. Ah, we've discovered the Vatican. Hello, Vatican City. There's still nowhere new for my worker to go, which is surprising to me. Oh, look at this. Oh, we, we've got a barbarian encampment. I should probably go up and take a look. Take a little peekaboo. poo There you go. Move up there, guys. Ah, there it is. We'll take that out. And a research agreement with you two? Everybody's having research agreements. And that's fine. It's just going to keep giving us boosts to our science. And I'm all about that. Okay, are you done exploring? Is that what, uh, is that what I'm seeing here? I'm going to just destroy you, all right? You've served your time. You served us well. Beto wants to be friends. Okay, let's be friends. Don't make me regret this friendship, okay? Napoleon declared war on Theodora. Oh, that happened finally, huh? Yeah, he wasn't happy with her for whatever reason. I don't know. I don't know what she did to him. But... I'm not, I'm not gonna get between it, to be honest. That's their deal, all right? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna ask questions, all right? Napoleon, you got a problem with Theodora? That's fine. Another merchant of Venice has been born. Holy crap. Okay, so now we've got two merchants of Venice stationed over here in Cahokia. Uh, kind of crazy. Kind of a little bit crazy. So, open borders. Uh, yeah, okay, fine. No, you cannot have that. So I could get Hanoi and ant if i wanted to but i think i'm what i'm going to do is hold on to them and then once i determine the city states that i can't become allies with i will use them to buy those city states and then screw over other civs you get me you following me with that being said metallurgy has been researched we are now in the industrial era which means that it is the end of this episode how far along did we come with the world's fair we are 71 percent done and we have produced 437 production which is good because we needed 234 or higher to get the free social policy so maybe we can get first place in this world's fair after all but we'll have to wait until the next episode to find out guys because that's where we're going to wrap it up for this episode uh, of our playthrough with enrico and Dadolo. and i hope you guys are enjoying this and if you are be sure to give it a like favorite share and subscribe guys i've been rick with stumped and i will see you next time עכשיו דיבר הוא הידעתי
Ήκουσα σε πρέποντα τεσσαλωτέ. There never was a good knife made of bad steel. The day of small nature. 